Hey guys, it's Greg with Kydre. Getting ready to head to the range, uh, but I'm seeing some issues, questions, and I'm going to try to address them uh, pertaining to the Staccato 2011 and the grip safety. Hopefully, if you're having issues, this may alleviate it or give you some insight of potentially what to look for. If you got the Staccato 2011, then you know we've got thumb safeties and grip safeties, just like any standard 1911. What guys are doing are they're taking a rubber band, banding it, pinning it. Um, I've seen some crazy things to actually deactivate it. That way at that point they can thumb safety down, fire the weapon. But what I'm seeing is a lot of this is from new shooters. Um, what's happening, they're coming over from polymer or Glock framed pistols. And a Glock, it's the angle. A Glock, when it was designed, is more of a forward angle, more of a, think of it as a martial arts punch. Whereas when John Moses Browning designed this a hundred years ago, it was more of a boxer's punch at the time. So this is more of a boxer's punch, a grip, and if you look, it's more of an angled for your Glock. What's happening is, because we've shot, I've shot Glock for years, and it, it's just a grip, it's the issue if you're going to. When we acquire a grip, we're getting high up on the tang. So you can see it pinched in. We're taking our fingers, our lower fingers, and pushing. Pull straight back and then up, straight back and up, and it's going to actually. and the martial arts punch to the 2011 is more upright. And check and see when you've got your Glock, you go to your 2011, see if you're putting a lot of pressure up here in the webbing and you're actually, again, fulcrum out, you're deactivating your grip safety. Try it, see if it helps. As always, comment down below if this helps, please, Subscribe, the algorithm helps, it pushes it out to new shooters. Share, comment, love the comments guys. I try to answer every single one of them. In the end, stay safe.